Hi, my name is Karishma Bulani. I'm a sports scientist in India, and this is my story. So as far as I know, I'm the only Indian sports scientist. So I haven't met or found any others yet. Well, I think that people have a perception that anyone working in sports has to be an athlete. But I think that sports as an industry needs people who are able to understand anatomy and physiology, who are able to understand development of a human body. And I think that other knowledge is really what's lacking here. I don't think we have a trained army of people who've been trained to look at sports as an industry and bring it forward. In 2011, I went to Bond University in Australia for a sports science degree. I think it was absolutely fantastic. The quality at Bond University was brilliant. We had very small classes. It was very, very personal, the education. We did have the best equipment possible. And us as students were given complete freedom to engage with that equipment and use it. We got to interact with a lot of the Australian Olympic athletes. So they would come into Bond University lab and we would do fitness tests on them. So it gave me the confidence that, look, I've worked with an Olympian already. You know, and it's, they're just another human being. But it, the, the fact that we had that access make, makes a huge difference. I think Australia is the best place to study sports science because it is really the hub of knowledge in sport. It's where a lot of practical experience, a lot of technical experience comes together, a lot of passion in sport for each person. Now I know the principles of how an athlete is made. I know what the ingredients that go into it. Why not step back and go and put those ingredients into schools? Let everyone benefit from the principles of the science rather than the elite athletes who already have everything at their disposal. In India, we've got education figured out. We do it well, it's great. The general perception in India is that sports is an extracurricular activity. It cannot be the center of what you do. It's not directly going to affect your career or the rest of your life. It's something you do just on the side. So a lot of parents that I've interacted with feel that sport is going to take children away from their studies, going to take children away from what they need to be successful. But we have a massive task in educating a lot of these parents and kids that sports is actually a way to be physically fit and healthy and that's vital to the entire success of a student and the entire su lifelong success of a, of a human being. I started working with Koo Sports in 2014. So Koo Sports used to originally do a body composition analysis for uh, all the kids in their programs. And there are about 300,000 kids at this point in, in Koo Sports programs. But they did want something more. So Focus is the first of its kind fitness health assessment that is non-invasive. It's basically run like a workout. It's just a circuit. So for the people running, the, the people in the test, it just feels like a quick workout. But what it does give me as a tester is very valuable information on key physiological aspects and key health aspects. And from that, for the first time ever, we've created a very educational, colorful, interactive report. I'm trying very hard to debunk a lot of myths that a lot of parents have about the importance of sport and health and fitness. And Indians love seeing report cards and scorecards and where my kid stands against everyone else's kids. So we've put it in that format if that works, you know, like this is where you are, this is where you need to be. But it is actually my vision that just as we have an academic report in every school, we also have a focus report every year. Because I honestly believe that the outcome or the success of someone's life depends far more on how they, well they take care of their own health and fitness as a child and learn those good habits early on than their actual grades in school. So currently we have about 185 schools. I would like to at least get to a thousand schools very soon and cover all the kids in those thousand schools. You know, one million kids is my goal for focus as long as I'm here and I'm going to make that happen.